We've probably gone from a boom, a growth in our economy that's probably unprecedented, albeit consumer-led, to now one of the worst recessions post-war. And our businesses have had to cope with that meteoric change. So I think it's time that we reappraise our businesses in the light of that. The first way that I've done that, and the first way I think everybody should, is looking back at my original goals. Are they still achievable, having just come through and still going through uh, the economy that we have? Is my exit route, is my time frame for my exit route the same? doesn't matter what stage your business is at, we all have aspirations one day to see the end. The end of the tunnel, the aspirational vision come to fruition. The other thing we should look at is our people, because without our people, we don't have a business. Are they still on board? Are they still on board with your vision? Um, we have had troubles in our business, but they too have troubles. They still have to pay the mortgage, they have to still finance their family. They are worried as well. So we need to communicate with them and we need to maybe renegotiate with them. We maybe need to look at their T's and C's, their employment agreements, their shareholder agreements to make sure they stay on side. And then I think we, we should look at our, our corporate structures. Um, in the light of what's happened, are they still fit for purpose? Um, we've all enjoyed good times recently. We've made reserves, we've kept reserves. Do we bank those reserves? Can we ring fence those reserves to anticipate any future protection going forward? What are the opportunities? Um, well, there are opportunities still in the capital taxes arena to freeze your growth now. Freeze that growth now in the value of your company so that all future growth on the way out of our recession can be fiscally well managed, even to the point that some capital taxes can be completely eliminated.